day 86 for the vlog. Today started off well, I guess. Today the morning run instead of the evening run. So 8 miles. It was 8.2 actually. And then came in, got my smoothie ready, make it make sure it was kind of a large, so it did like a double. I still had the protein in there, the banana and the other mixed fruit. Then I called and got a massage and that was good because they were booked. They said they were booked on Monday, yesterday. Then they called today and I guess some people had canceled because I got in. So I had a massage, then went across, well not across the street, it was right next door to Target. Got a couple things. But for some reason I was really craving, I mean I was hungry to begin with. But the cheese and crackers with the deli meat on there. So I had <clears throat> I bought two little snack sizes of those, so I had one in the car. And I'll have one tomorrow for lunch. Well, at some point between breakfast and lunch. And then I went to In N Out Burger and I had two fries. The double double with cheese and onion. Fry no, I had the fries too, sorry. <laughs> Get a little tired. So two orders of fries, one double-double with onion and cheese, one cup of water, and I had a milkshake. I haven't had a milkshake, I don't know how long, more than three or four years. Could have, could be, could be close to ten. Just the last time I had them, I was with the, the team coaching. And they made the nationals, and the head coach had asked one of the players in Kansas, said, hey, where's a good local spot to go to to get food or dessert? And one of the kids said, oh, like Mary's, Mary's Frozen Custard or something like that. A small mom and pop shop, but they had 303 flavors of malts, milkshakes, and ice cream. So we went over there, got, got one of those, and then we went back every day. But I just was sick the whole time. I didn't know why, because I've always been able to have ice cream until then, and that's when I just got sick. And so when I came back, I was like, what's going on? I had to take out all the milk and ice cream, and I got a lot better. But today I just said, you know what? Maybe if I eat all this food, I'll have a layer in my stomach. And I'll have this milkshake. So far, no problems. I, th I think I felt a little heavy for an hour or two. I mean, it was a lot of food to begin with. But, <laughs> but I feel fine. My stomach doesn't feel upset. I'm hoping I don't get upset in the morning. But, yeah, so I felt fine. And then walked the pup a couple times. Then had some sushi, had some birthday cake, it was a marble birthday cake with strawberry frosting, watched a movie Kong and Godzilla, talked to my brother, one of my brothers, his wife, niece, well, my niece, his daughter, my mom and dad, caught a little bit of the Suns game, they lost today so they're one and one for the playoffs. Oh my gosh, what else did I do? I didn't finish the project. I didn't start necessarily. I thought I'd have more time today and it's just time got away from me. But still working on the details, I don't think that helped. I need to write it out exactly what it is. Oh fuck. Man. Write out what I need, what I'm looking for do the test run and just try it once and that'll be a majority of getting over the fear. <laughs> do it once, see where it goes. And then I did the push-ups already. I did over 100, somewhere around 115. I did pull-ups, three sets of 10, two sets of face pulls, 10, three sets of 10 for the face pull. 
read the book, so I'm good to go. I'm ready for bed. It's about an hour earlier than I normally do, so it's good. Hopefully, I feel more rested tomorrow. Oh, the day rating, probably. I'm going back and forth between 7 and 8. I feel like it was maybe a 7 because I feel like it should have been a 9 or 10. But it was a little bit better than usual. I had the massage. The massage was good. I focused on some areas that I needed. Of course, you always want more time. I tried to get more time, but they, they were booked up. Um, I think I was just anticipating like a phone call or a text. It never happened. Which sucks. But I can't control that. And I need to move on. I need to be okay with it. I think that's tough. I know I shouldn't have put too much anticipation in it. It's still maybe an optimist view. Just hope. Wishful thinking, I guess. Well. Time for bed, so. Live on your life with health and happiness.